YouTube, YouTube, what's good? It's your boy 247, One Half Exotic Fringy Boutique. I'm back in the building with another one. So, man, look, let's get it right into it. Check this shit out, y'all. Today, we going to the vet. As y'all know, Taco, well, y'all probably don't know. Taco is in heat. Um, I'm so far off on this whole boy. Basically, Taco's in heat. It's probably about uh, day, day five, day six. I didn't, I didn't do good documentations of keeping her first, I mean, her first sign of blood for this heat, only because we was out of town. Uh, man, it was just a bunch of shit going on. So I'm actually hoping that I, I, I don't, I'm not going to miss the, the window of opportunity that I need to breed her. Um, so we about to head out, run down. It's Memorial Day, so he doing me a solid. The vet's doing me a solid. He going to come in, do the progesterone test, obviously. Um, yeah, so let, let me get the truck loaded up, and then I'll be right back with y'all. We got everybody outside. Taco, Tsunami, Potato, Big Boy Bruce. <laughs> so I'm going to get all the, I'm going to get the two. I'm, I'm only taking Taco and Potato. I got to take Potato to the vet because I got to get her checked out, her heart condition. I'm going to do a story, a story of Potato after this video. I know I've been gone for a minute. Y'all hold up. Before I, before I even get started this video... Hey, look, man, make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe. I know I've been gone for a minute, but you know, I've been, I've been, I've been taking care of the dogs, though. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that still support the game. If you got litters on the ground, congratulations. You already know how that go. So we gonna rock out like that. We gonna put potato in there, taco in there. Like I just told y'all, we, um, we got this big ass wagon there right now because we took a road trip and we had to bring all four dogs. Boy, that I, I should have vlogged that because boy, that was a guy. Hey, you guys need a ride? Your costume. You're welcome. Yes, keep the peace. Oh, My boy got the whole goddamn outfit on. <laughs> But you know what though? The dog, y'all don't mind my hair, man. You know what I'm saying? My shit thing right now. Dogs is absolutely awesome in the car. You don't, you don't even really know they there. I'm tired of shit, y'all, man. God, did you still hear the birds chirping? Taco trying to get in the truck. Taco, you know you going somewhere? You know it's time? Oh yeah. Bruce, you ain't going, big boy. You need a tsunami. Come on, Taco. All right, we got taco and potato loaded up. Like I told you, I got a story about potato. I'm gonna give y'all, I'm gonna give y'all a full video about potato, what's going on with her, her heart murmurs, and so forth and so on. But that's a whole nother video. Taco, this is about you, baby. Um, so yeah, let's go knock, knock, get this PG test out the way, and hopefully, um, we we really didn't miss the window because I know it's probably it's either day five or day six. I don't really know y'all because. When she came into heat, we thought she did, but I don't think she did. It was like a, it was like a split cycle type. It was some weird shit. And then tsunami came into heat. So then I just wasn't on it this go round, y'all. I can't, I can't even ain't even know where around it. I wasn't on it. Just got back into town yesterday. Today happened to be Memorial Day, so now I'm scrambling around trying to get somebody to, to do the PG test. Good thing Dr. Miller over there at Crossroads West is going to look out for me. I only got like an hour to get there and it take an hour to get there. So, yeah, and as y'all know, yeah, as, as know, I'm waiting. I'm waiting on somebody. But it's all good, though. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe if you don't follow us on Instagram. Man, go follow us on Instagram, Exotic Friendship Boutique, baby. I will show y'all the garage, but we still, we pretty much in the, still in the same state. You know what I'm saying? Ain't much changed. 
Um, I do got the kitchen up, but which I think I showed y'all that last time. We is active over here. We is cooking over here. Um, but yeah, though, we got some other spots I got to patch because I don't know why, but they like to tear into the drywall. So we got that one. I got to repatch that one. We got two spots over there. I got the repatching paint. Uh, it's really potato. Potato like digging into the damn walls and eating the drywall. I don't know what it is about it, but it must be like sugar or something to a little fat ass. I don't know, but so we going we, we we still working, y'all. It's a progress, man. But hopefully everybody been good. Taking care of them dogs, you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, let's get it. All right, y'all, we, we on the road. We got the dogs in the back, but you can't see they in the third row. I normally had the, the, the third row set down, but uh, yeah, not today. Got the other half with me today. It's going down. I might edit that out. I don't know. I'll see after how I feel during the edit process. But any, I ain't get ready either. She look at my hair. Dude. My shit looks beautiful. But anyways, um, yeah, y'all, man, hopefully we didn't miss this small window of opportunity. Because like I told y'all earlier, I was just not on my shit this go round. But um, nonetheless, I got like 30 minutes to get down here. Or else it's really going to be game over. Six months. Next time. Which I'm not really trying to wait till next time. So, it's go time now. Let's get it. All right, y'all. We made it. We made it. That still here. The dog still there. Taco. Potato. All right, all right, chill out, Taco. I'm gonna take it out. Come here, Taco. Get over here. Let me get their leashes, leashes and collars, which I thought I forgot, but I didn't. They actually still in the truck from the road trip. Uh, let's get it. Good. I called a little bit earlier for the progesterone test. Davis. Hi, sweetheart. I'm glad you're still, still doing so well. She is. She doesn't seem like she's in any pain. All right, Taco, this your turn. This where you was born at, girl. Taco, like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Okay. It's okay, Taco. It's okay, Taco. Got you. Good Almost. job, Taco. Almost. Good job, you did. You got Almost. it. Good girl. We just left up out of there. Waiting on the results for the peak. For the progesterone test, I didn't feel like waiting. So we gonna call back by like 30 minutes if she don't call me. See where Taco at. Hopefully we didn't miss it. I think we straight though. What you think? Where we at? Yeah, that's why I told him. We was we was way we was way off this go, y'all. And this trip completely messed every not a messed everything up. But I'll be back. All right, y'all. We back. 
And I don't know if you could tell by the look on my face that things didn't go so well. The lady at the damn vet didn't know what she was doing. So basically what happened was she did drew the blood, as you see. She went, normally we wait because it normally take like 15, 20 minutes. But being that they weren't open today and blah, 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 the doctor came in, all, all, all that. He was rushing in and out. So long story short, the lady who was handling the, 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 the PG test, I guess she ran it in the machine. The machine ran through an error code, an error code. She called the doctor, which he had left already. He couldn't really walk her through the process. She called the company of the actual machine, which I think it's, I forget what it's called, but she called the company. They're closed because it's Labor Day. So, yeah, we're kind of asked out right now. So it's either it's going to be hit or miss. Tomorrow we try it again. I just wasted a whole three hours driving all the way to Richmond. But, hey, I mean, it is what it is. It's my fault, I guess, right, for not being on top of my shit. What can I say? It's my fault. But I hate incompetency. I hate people that are just not, like, can't do that. Like, why are you there for? Because that shouldn't happen. But it happened, so well, what can I say? But anyways, we back at the crib. I'm, about to get the, I'm watching some cages out right now. Where everybody at? Make sure I got, got a grasp on everybody. Just finished washing out some cages. Tacos over there. Potato. My boy Bruce at Bruce's Tsunami. So yeah, so I'm not even gonna uh, make this a super long video. This, this was the video, as you see what happened, that that's the outcome. So we go, you know, we gonna wrap this thing up, babe. But I'm dropping it again tomorrow though, cause I'm gonna do this shit all over again tomorrow. Hopefully we didn't miss it. Hopefully tomorrow will be right on time. Um, but here, here's this, here, this is where it's really messing me up at though, is because I didn't do a lock in yet. So even though I know what stud I'm gonna use, I ain't lock in on them yet. So even if tomorrow do come, and let's just say she ready the day after tomorrow. By the time I got them lock in, now I'm going to be rushing the stud on her because I didn't do what I needed to do. So I'm going to be rushing her way down to Florida to send, send the sample next day, so forth and so on. And, and, and then this is the thing. I don't want to lock in because if I lock in now and then let's just say tomorrow we miss it. No point. You see what I'm saying? So, bottom line is stay on top of your shit. Handle your business. And, and, uh, wait. How'd it go? Stay on top of your, handle your business. <laughs> I was trying to say like a little, like a profound, uh, analogy, but it's not worth Handle your business for your handle, for your business handles you, bitch. We like that one. We like that one. But now, nah, yeah, though, so that's the dilemmas that we're going through right now. So I'm probably just going to end up locking in just so I got them locked in. And if we miss it, then I guess we wait six months and we do it all over again. But, you know, I'm I'm optimistic. We're not going to miss it. Tomorrow going to be on, on. But, oh, here's the other alternative I have. I have another alternative to where there's someone who my little brother uses, and they're local. She is uh, She's an AK. ABKC judge, she lives about 30 minutes away from me. She also does progesterone tests and um, reverse progesterone tests. So my other option is to drive back or down to her. Well, she's only about 30 minutes away. So I could just load Taco back up, drive back down to her and get this progesterone test, which which is what I'll probably do because I need to get this shit done today. I don't really feel like I got too many more days of waiting and figuring out, cause I'm already behind, I'm already behind, I'm already, you know what I'm saying? So, I just hit her on Facebook. If she hits me back, then I'm probably just gonna thug it out, hop back in the whip, go make that drive, go do this PGTA test. So look, if I do that, then y'all will see that. If I don't, then this video ends here. Let's see. And like I told y'all earlier, Tsunami is also on her heat too, but as you know, we are not gonna breed her anymore. Um, you know, but yeah, she's on her heat. And I really feel like they waited, they waited somehow to like 
sync they uh sync they uh what do you call it? They periods. I do you this is that whatever. They periods, I feel like they waited to sync they shit. Maybe not them uh cells waited, but just like uh what you call it? Uh you know, the inner vibe. The, their inner vibes was just entwined with each other and yeah. But um and shit y'all we missed it we ain't missing we staying positive we ain't missing hey y'all come here y'all um but yeah though man y'all make sure y'all go like comment share subscribe go watch some old videos i'm back we come back we got turned up i'm trying to get to like i ain't i'm trying to get to 100k for real i'm like 95k away so i need y'all to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend tell your mama and your aunties and your uncles and whoever Follow Exotic Friendship Boutique. Subscribe to their page. Go like some of their videos. Go watch some of their content. Turn me up. Please. Please. But anyways, I'm out. I'm gone. It's a wrap, baby. Choo choo. Taco. Hey, y'all. Tsunami and Taco is like, uh, they became best friends. They are like, Two peas in a pod. They love each other, which is so surprising because they didn't used to get along. But now, whatever Taco doing, Tsunami doing. Whatever Tsunami doing, Taco doing. They like inseparable. They are like, they are like, yeah. Uh, what else I need to be doing? I'm about to feed them right now. I didn't feed them yet. I started feeding them a little bit later in the day. Cause I noticed when I put down food early in the day, they tend to not really, they don't really, you know what I'm saying? That should have just sit there. So uh, we got a little bit later scheduled now. I'm about to whip up a quick, a quick, a quick whip. There's gonna be a quick whip in the kitchen. And you ain't gonna do no, no crazy shit. Um, Cause I got a busy day. So today they getting a quick mix, you know what I mean? So, and then y'all know we changed our, our kibble, which I think I told y'all in the last video, I don't know. I haven't been making videos in so long. I'm way out the loop, man. But um, yeah, in case I didn't show it, show y'all, this is what we are using now, which I'm actually about to switch taco back to a puppy food, being that uh, she's on her cycle, and most likely she's gonna get pregnant. But uh, this is what we're using now, still wellness core. I just switched up to the beef recipe, which is the beef recipe is for adults. Um, but it's cool. They got, um, oh shit. They, they don't got enough food. But anyway, they got like uh, actual fries, fried, how you say that shit? Freeze dried pieces of beef in here. So that's pretty cool and they actually like that. So yeah, let's get it. All right. Ooh, we we running, we running little. Uh, let's see, got they snacks up here, treats and stuff. Some tuna. Let's keep sardines. I normally this drink normally be stockpiled up. I keep sardines, tuna, and some other little beef cans and shit there. But um, today I guess I guess they gonna hey have some sardines yesterday. We'll probably do some tuna today. Call it a day. Cause like I said, I don't have time to cook them up a meal, so we 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 quick with it today. You know what I'm saying? But they still gonna get something other than kibble. I'm gonna knock these cans of tuna out real quick. But boy, look, man, I can't even tell y'all how disappointed with myself I'm gonna be if I miss this. Cause y'all know this is like the most important time for the breedings, and to not be on top of this shit. Get they let me get their little tuna tuna mix ready. Quick shit. That tuna, that tuna be stinking. That tuna and and and, and sardine tuna and sardine stink. By the way, I be going to Aldi sometimes, even though I know Aldi is not really the. I don't get no meats and shit from there, but I do go there and get the cans of tuna and cans of sardines. Cause they got them for like 80 cents a can. The tuna, the tuna is like 80 cents a can. The sardines is like 89 cents a can. They actually got pretty good sardines, like some big, thick, thick old chunky sardines. So I hit all the in the morning sometimes. And um, get the rest of that out there.
I saw a commercial the other day that was like, omega threes doesn't come from the actual fish. It comes from the algae and the greens and all of the shit that the fish actually eats. I thought that was pretty interesting. All right. Go ahead, Bruce. What you don't want to eat, my boy? Taco, potato, go to your cage. Go, potato. Tsunami, cage. This is a piece of bone, y'all. That's just a piece of bone. Come on, Brucey boy. You don't want to eat, my boy? All right. All right, y'all, so you see we back in the whip. Taco. Taco. We on our way to the lady house out in the freaking boom docks, straight country. We like five minutes away, so let's get it. Um, she gonna run the PG test. She don't got an IDEX, so I'll have to convert it to, to the IDEX numbers, but at least, at least I'll be a little bit more reassured knowing where she's at. So, yeah. All right, we almost there, Taco. Now, this lady, she's not Dr. Miller, but she is going to stick you again and draw your blood. So just be easy and be patient with her, all right? This is both of our first time meeting her. I'm just letting you know what's going on so you know what to expect, all right? Just be calm. Be calm with this lady. We almost there, y'all. Gotta give her a little breakdown so at least don't leave her in the blue. You know what I'm saying? Let her know what's going on. But, uh... Y'all, I think I'm here. I hope I ain't just pulling inside somebody's driveway. But we out here in the goddamn country. You come on, you come out with a shotgun. Blow it to smithereens, baby. Oh, yeah, all right. I see dogs down there. So, this might be the spot. And that might be her. Let's get it. Oh, wow. She got a horse over there. So cool. That's cool as shit. Pretty dog. Oh, wow. This is, this is awesome out here. You see his car? How, how many days is she? Alright, tacos go time. This damn near a vet up in here. This is veterinarian's office. Yeah, I'm still unpacking some stuff. We did have it in the basement of the house. Yeah, so this is the ultrasound. Okay. Um, so the numbers mean the same thing, but they'll be they'll be different numbers. So IDEX say an IDEX is a five for ovulation. Here would be like a 15. Okay. Okay, so, but it means the same thing. All right, come on, talk, we out, we out. I know you wanna play, but we can't. Show y'all how we came here. I ain't take that big ass truck out, out here, y'all. Come on, talk. Just do me a little tarp down there. Put a cage right there. Oh, I got some water. Let me get you some water. Hold on, talk. I don't know how we gonna share this, but let me get me some first. All right, your turn. That's what we gonna do. Back up.
Back up. Here. Move. Nah, why you gonna drink on my cup, man? I ain't wanna have my cup. I don't want taco lips on my cup. Here, back up. Back up, taco. Go ahead. All right, y'all. So that was that. The PG test was done. It was. It went well. She got an alt man. Her 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 land is awesome. All these different barns and damn dog shit. So she's an ABKC judge. Um, she also shows dogs, and she also she doesn't show dogs. She has dogs that uh, are shown by handlers that she are in charge. She is in charge of. She got some fire ass bullies. I'm talking about some really. She said she said. She said a bunch of them was grand champions, um, and I could tell because they were they were pretty they were pretty fire quality dogs, bullies of course. But um, so yeah, she then got a whole little veterinarian office back there out here in the country. She need to get it cleaned up. But other than that, that's a smooth little setup. But um, it was a hundred dollars for that PT test. And then I also got a credit for my PT test from earlier from the from the doctor, from the vet that we went to where she messed up, you know. So we got a credit for that. So if I need to go back there tomorrow, I could go there and get my credit, use my credit for today. Um, so she does TCI, she do AIs, uh, she do it all back there, sonograms. Um, I'll, probably, I'll probably use her for little things like Progesterone tests and shit like that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that TCI with her, which I, I actually I would if if I'm not able to get down to Florida in time. But I don't know. We'll see. That's gonna be a whole nother video. But we going look. We gonna keep this progress, this 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 vlogging um uh, um in sync. So this this gonna be all over, starting all over from start to finish. Pregnancy of a Frenchie, the whole process. So this is. First one, hopefully, hopefully I didn't miss it. And look, if I missed it, then, then this is gonna be a tutorial of why you need to stay on your shit, write shit down, take notes, and really be meticulous about these damn dogs. Um, but hopefully it'll be the first option where this is just another vlog of a Frenchie pregnancy. But, oh, let me put my seatbelt on. Thank God I ain't too cool for the safety belt. But, um, yeah, though, y'all make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe. We try to get 100K. I'm 95 away. Boy, that sounds like a lot. But, shit, I don't drop enough videos. Once I start dropping videos, hey. Yeah. Anyways, shout out to everybody. Shout out to all my cousins. If you got lives on the ground, congratulations. Make sure you take care of them damn dogs. Um, um, man, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, our website, boutique. Everything is Exotic Frenchy Boutique. Just go on Google, type in Exotic Frenchy Boutique. And, damn, I just missed my turn. I got to go. I asked her real quick because she just hit me back with the results. So she is at a 13.12 on the Wandful machine. It's not the IDEX machine. The IDEX is normally the ones that like the veterinarians use. So I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a a, 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 a level chart here so you can kind of see what she with you know in case you ever run into this issue, you got a level chart you can go back and reference to. Obviously, you gonna have to compare that not compare but you would have to do the numbers uh to idex versus the wand phone machine but she's at a 13.12 and so with one i believe she needs to be at like a at least a 15 uh and that's ovulation um which is obviously different way completely different numbers than the idex machines but yeah so she had a 13.2 so she's not ready we probably got about two or three more days which give me time to lock my dog lock this dog in a buddy down in Florida, lock him in. He's a rojo, fluffy cat. He's fire as hell. What's his name? Uh, I'm gonna put him right here. But what is his name? I can't think of his name. Um, but he fired though. So give me time to lock him in. Still give me a little couple days to decide if I'm gonna fly, if I'm gonna shoot down there, or if I'm gonna just um, have them ship the semen. Granted, being that she does, but blah, 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 blah. being that she does TCIs and AIs and so forth and so on. Um, she charged eighty dollars for AIs, eighty dollars for TCIs. Which that's not bad. I, I think Dr. Miller probably charged like a hundred dollars. Um, 
But uh, so yeah, so that was that, y'all. So we 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 got it done today. I did my due diligence today. I put that work in. I went hard and I got the results. Bottom line. So yeah, y'all. Tomorrow, see y'all again. Actually, I'll probably run her again tomorrow just because I don't know. I don't know, but thirteen point one two. She needs to be at at least fifteen. So yeah, I'll probably end up running her tomorrow. But peace out, y'all.